Hey, this is Lotus Come Express. We're here at Geek and Nomicon, guys, talking to Adrienne Palicki. I hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Yes, Adrienne Palicki, you did a great job. Thank you, thank you. Now she is notoriously awesome. She's in Agents of Shield. She's been Wonder Woman, and she was also my favorite. Would have been Blue Jay. I probably got the name wrong, but you were in G.I. Joe, which was my favorite. Lady like, J. Is Lady J. Yes. I always call her Blue J because, because the outfit. But, you know, I mean, Lady J is, like, an amazing character. I, I, notoriously awesome and classic at that. Yes. So I hear that you're a big G.I. Joe fan. I was a G.I. Joe fan growing up. I mean, I, I personally wanted to be Jinx because, you know, who doesn't want to be a ninja? Um, obviously, it doesn't work. But... Uh, Lady J was a close second, so it was pretty cool. Lady J, yeah, you'd feel, yeah, you'd fit your character real well, too, just as a as an actress. I mean, like, you, you personified her real well. You know, it was, one of, it was my, one of my favorite roles for, for what you do, just because I could see you being Lady J in the movie. Like, it felt like you were her. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, that's the hope. I hope that. That is awesome. And so, I mean... I guess I, what, I, what I wanted to ask is, you know, doing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Wonder Woman, G.I. Joe, and movies like that, are you a geek yourself? Are you into comic books? I am into comic books. Um, my brother has always been into comic books. He's a comic book writer, actually, now. And, uh, yeah, I have a Supergirl tattoo. And we awesome. actually we wrote one together that's going to hit shelves in November called No Angel. So you really? Have to look out for that, yeah. That is awesome. Thank you. See, I mean, to be in in the comic book world is it's totally a different world than most. I mean, because you can be anybody you want. And you can reinvent constantly. I mean, how many times has Captain America died? You right. know what I mean? It's like you can just create whatever world you want whenever you want. Do you have a favorite comic book? Well, or a, 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 maybe a favorite comic book series like X Men or well, X Men was absolutely my favorite growing up. I mean, yeah? the one that's left on the list for me is Rogue. Rogue? I need to play Rogue. You at should some play point. Rogue. I could kind of see that with the hair and all of that. Thanks. Just dye it red, white strip. I'll be like, you know, come on. You should. You should even do that anyway. Just, just, <laughs> just, just to be to like, hey, it. I'm Rogue, and <laughs> rock just it out. Walk around, just like kissing people like this. Yeah, exactly. You know. You know. I mean, that that would, I could see it. You know, appreciate why not? It. So, as far as the like with Agents of Shield and all of the other st the stuff that you've done, do you have any newer kind of uh, character-based roles that maybe be a, might be a little bit different than what you've done in the past? Yeah, I'm going to be uh, shooting come January uh, a new TV series with Seth MacFarlane. It's Very a one-hour cool. um, dramedy set in the future. That is awesome. So it'll be it'll be fun. Yeah, are you are you allowed to release any details other than? Absolutely not. Absolutely but, you know, not. I, I worked for Marvel for years, so I'm kind of used to that. We so. totally understand. <laughs> well, with that, you know, coming down to Oklahoma City, as, as you have, um, have you enjoyed Oklahoma City during the weekend? I have. It's beautiful. I, I didn't realize how gorgeous Oklahoma City is. I've only driven through Oklahoma. I've never actually stayed. Um, had an amazing uh, earthquake this morning. Right. Which, I have to say, living in L.A. for 15 years, that was probably the biggest one I've experienced. Yeah, we were talking to a couple different guests, and it, it was it was said on the news that you're able to you, that people were able to feel it seven states away. Yes, exactly. And I was like, wow, that's that's, that's incredible. Pretty intense. That is so, intense. Yeah, and scary. Have you ever been in an earthquake? Oh, many. Like I said, I live in Los Angeles. This was my first. Really? Where yeah. are you from? I'm from here, but I I used to live in Colorado. Okay. So. So you're pretty safe there. Like I've always heard theories about earthquakes, but I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> this morning, I well, mean. Especially you're on like the 10th floor of a building, and it's just going like this. Yeah, it's that's not true. Stopping. And you're like, why is it stopping? Usually they stop. That's true. And yeah, I don't know. Like I've been in many, kind of, I've been in a tornado, and I've been in like you know, parts hurricane. of a hurricane. Although I wouldn't specifically say that. say that, but I've never been in an earthquake. You know. I've uh. I have not actually been in a tornado. I've been sort of like around a tornado. I have been in a hurricane. And that's the same thing with that hurricane thing, you Got know. It. Like I, I was around it. Yes. Was I actually in it? No. Got it. Got Worst it. case thing I've ever done is probably the tornado. When well, a tornado flew over my house, and that's that, not something I ever want to experience. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. I so, could go my whole life without that. That would be great. An earthquake. That's a whole different ball game. Like, I mean, what do you do? It's like, well, you know, find a doorway. Well, that's good to know. Yes. I gotta learn more about earthquakes now. Uh, like I said, I live in California. Eventually, we're gonna just fall off the, you know, 
States, anyways. Is that the theory? Is that you guys are, you guys are just going to fall off the map? We're or? just, we're just going to have the biggest earthquake, and it's just going to separate completely and fall. It's like, ocean. almost like uh, that could be a movie. I think. I it, think yeah, it's that's, Andreas that's, kind that's of what just I mean. Was. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it is a movie, actually. Well, as far as the people, as far as you know, people watching you on Agents of Shield. I know we kind of got off topic with the earthquake bit, but with that, is there any new developments that you're able to talk about, press-wise, that are coming out, or is there any other kind of uh, character-based kind of stuff that you're able to talk about, such as your comic book that you're able to, that you that you're kind of involved with? Well, well, like I said, uh, the comic book is something I wrote with my brother, who yeah. is awesome, and um, it's, it it kind of follows the uh, the idea of the Nephilim, which is this theory, you know, and it's also at places in the Bible where there's a belief that you know when the angels came to to kill off man, they pretty much raped and pillaged humans, and there is uh, a specific breed of people formed, which is half angel, half man, and it's kind of in this realm, and it, it, it follows one particular female character who's... That's awesome. Yeah, looks like me. Looks like an intense, I cool. mean, it sounds like an intense story. It is. It's, it's, Growing up, did you have any role models? I mean... My brother, for sure. I mean, it, I'm really, really close to my family, both yeah. of my parents I looked up to massively, both are my heroes, but my brother is like, I think I was formed. And, and melded to be the person that I am because I wanted to be like him. That makes sense. You know? I'm so. kind of like that with my father. That's awesome. And I, I totally can relate to that. And, you know, it's sounding like when you ask about role models, you know, I mean, off, the, off of that, you know, would have been like, you know, Robert Smith from The Cure or, you know, actors or artists that were like that, that I, I kind of kind of saw myself the who, who I wanted to be, you know? Right. You know, that's what I was kind of wondering. Do you have any role models that you wanted to aspire to, other than your, other than family, or Listen, the reason? Yeah, I wanted to become an actress because I wanted to be Princess Buttercup. I still that think, is awesome. I still think Princess Bride is the best movie in the world. I think it's a perfect movie. Um, so it Robin, is a good movie. Robin Wright is somebody who I really, I would love, love to meet. Um, some of my other role models. I mean, I. Freddie Mercury is somebody I just absolutely idolize, and I. You're a Freddie Mercury fan. Oh, beyond, like yes. I'm obsessed. Yes. He's my favorite. How cool is that, guys? He's my right. Favorite. And David Bowie. Let's be real. I have my little yes. Jareth tattoo. That was my little ode to him once he had passed. That's awesome. Bo Bowie was amazing. I legendary. Mean, listen. I mean, legendary. Legendary. And Gene Wilder was one of mine. I that still boggles my mind that he's gone. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, I was, uh, I was, I was on, I was in tears when I heard about it. That's how I was with Bowie. And same, same thing with Bowie. Right. I mean, they were two legendary kind of, kind of artists, and that's what I kind of aspire to. And that's, that's kind of how I see, see you a little bit. You, you aspire to certain characters, and I, I know that there's certain character bases when you're creating a character that you kind of aspire to. You know, like you look at maybe a persona that you want to put into a character, right. which is kind of what the reason for me asking that question. You know, it, well, as far as uh, any new uh, kind of for people that may not know you at home, which I sincerely doubt that's even possible. But for people that don't know you at home, is there a place that we can go to as far as like as far as to support you yourself as an actress? Place you can go. Yeah, as far as do you have a fan uh, like a fan site or? Twitter or Facebook. Okay. It's my name, real Adrian Palicki. Yes, ma'am. And ma I'm I am the worst at social media. I'll just be honest with you. But I try to post here and there, you know, things that matter are important to me and keep people in the loop. And you know, I'll definitely be letting you know when things are happening. Well, you're an amazing actress. Thanks. And we we were, our family really loves to see you in like Agents of Shield. I mean, that's probably. That's probably their favorite out of all your work, and mine is, like I said, GI Joe by far. You know, and that's just because I grew up on, you know, playing with GI Joes like yourself. You know, like cr collecting and all of that stuff. But I wanted to tell you, it's absolutely an honor having you on the, on the show, thank and thank you. you very much for your time. Thank you so much. I know you didn't have a lot of it, so. No worries. Thank you.
come check out Miss Padalecki uh, and her obviously her fan sites and social media to to help support. Do you have any charities that you're involved in at all? She said, just a last note kind of question. Um, Habitat for Humanity is something I really strongly uh, that that holds true to me in, in building homes for people who are in need. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Well, check out a Habitat for Humanity and as well as any fan sites that she's got that she just named off. Come check us out at LotusComics.com. We'll have some information there as well, uh, all the links and all that good stuff. Thank you. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk to you here real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.